Well, welcome to another episode of Coronacation. I'm Naomi White in Brisbane, Australia, and this morning I'm delighted to be joined by Lily Fontana, who's also in Brisbane. How are you, Lily? I'm good, thank you. How are you, Naomi? I'm very well. Um, Lily, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I am a mother of two teens. I'm a professional makeup artist, have been for the past 20 years. And I also specialise in professional presentation works, workshops in the corporate world. Okay. And how's the um, coronavirus situation affected you and, and the work that you do in the world? Well, as you can imagine, social distancing and, and being in someone's personal space, that's definitely stopped. So my industry was really quite hardly hit straight away. So it was quite confronting seeing all my jobs disappear really right at the beginning because everybody got scared and it was just cancel, cancel, cancel. So quite scary. Um, but I have reinvented myself, which is pretty cool. And I've been really excited about that. So I have taken my workshops online and it's amazing how you're, you're kind of pushed to do it. And, uh, and luckily I took the leap and I've also been studying part-time too. So it allowed me to really get into my studies. So it's, it's been strangely a little bit of a blessing uh, if you kind of look at it that way. There's always two ways to look at it. So Yeah, that's so true. Well, I've done one of your workshops, as you know, and I must say I thought I knew it all, but I learned quite a lot. So I'm pleased I did it. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, well, you're a natural, but it was really fun. I loved, I, I think it's that interaction, being able to say the angle of the brush, how much to use. It really helps having that interaction, even if it's virtual we're still, you know, we, we, I'm able to look at how you're doing it and you're able to look at me. So it's good. I yeah, think I was surprised at how way. well it worked virtually, actually. That was, that was, that was, um, yeah, that was interesting. So Fantastic. That, um, and how are the kids going? Uh, look, they are, strangely enough, really well. I mean, my son's about to turn 18 next month, so he's a little bit worried about his whole 18th birthday party business. So I'm not sure what's going to happen there. But they, I don't know, this time has really been, and I have been hearing your other interviews as well, and I just love listening to them, and how people have just really slowed down. It's honestly the, the break we kind of needed to have. Uh, and just being relaxed, I think it's been fantastic. Like, they miss their friends, but then, of course, they're such a virtual generation. So they talk mm. online and... Uh, I think it's like my daughter does a lot of, you know, she does aerobics, she does dancing, and it's all now online, which is amazing, but she really was quite busy. So it's like she's almost, yeah, had a bit of a break, which is quite lovely. Yeah. And even the homeschooling, I love having her around, actually. And my son, he goes between um, staying with me and because and, I'm divorced, so he goes to his dad's as well. And, and he's, he's a little, he just comes and goes. Uh, but Mia really does love to just stay in one spot. And I think she. She's just really nicely cocooning, but looking forward to going back to school. She says, I never thought I'd say that I want to go back to school, Mum, but <laughs> she does miss her friends. But it's just been lovely for our relationship as well. It's been mm -hmm. a tough couple of years just being divorced. It's been tough on everyone. But, mm -hmm. you know, my ex and I are really good friends, so that absolutely helps everything. Mm -hmm. But it's yeah. just been fantastic to really, really be vulnerable. I think that I've really... Uh, not pushed my kids, but I poked them a little bit. To, you know, they're always, I think, also trying to protect you. I think, you know, it's all a learning curve for all of us. And um, not that I need protection, but I think, you know, they're just beautiful humans. And, and it's just been really, really good for us to really be vulnerable and say, you know, we're having, I'm having a bad day today. And I think it all comes from me allowing myself to do that. And that's been a big step too. And just being those closed proximity you know, you just can and you can just go, yeah, I'm actually having a bad day. But the biggest thing is that we get back up. And I think that that's what I've been showing them. So, yeah, yeah that's beautiful. Well, based on that, what advice have you got that might help others? Because you've had an interesting, you know, period um, yes. know, up to this. So what have you learned? Yes. Mm -hmm. I've really learned that, you know, I've just got to fall in love with your own company. I think uh, prior to that, I really was just you know, you're kind of running away from yourself a little bit. So this has been fantastic just to regroup, regroup, regroup. It's been fantastic for that. Um, but I mean, I just make sure I do exercise in the morning. I think that's been my really big grounding with my little dog. We go every for an hour, sometimes an hour and a half. And that, this has allowed us to do that, which is phenomenal. And we're lucky we can in, in Australia go outside um, to have that exercise. 
um, and just really, I sort of don't get ahead of myself. I really time block what I want to do, but I'm just not hard on myself. I think that's the, we just got to be realistic and where we're at and not be super. I think, you know, we are as a, as a species really hard on ourselves. And that's what I have learnt um, over the last couple of years, how, yes, we have to strive to, to do good things, but also just be kind and have compassion for ourselves. So yeah, if you don't feel like doing it today and it's not a major, then watch that movie with, with your children or go for that walk, an extra walk or, you know, I just, uh, and, you know, maybe not eat so much chocolate and <laughs> but it's, you just got to be kind to yourself. It's, a, it's an unprecedented time. Yeah. Uh, and that's, I think my coping mechanism is just really to just be super kind and be, and realize we're all in, in it together. We really are. And there are a lot, there are people that are, you know, in, in quite a dire circumstances and there's, yeah, you just got to be grateful for what you have. I think that I just keep remembering that when I have a little moment of, mm scared you know which we all do you just do sometimes you just have tears come for no reason at all and you think where did that come from and that's just your normal you know human experience with this unprecedented time so yeah we want to control stuff and then we realize we all think that when we go back to the real world that we have some kind of control and we actually don't have any and this has really shown us that we just have to really learn to adapt we totally do. Lily, there's been some fantastic words of wisdom. Thank you so much. I look forward That's to seeing pleasure. you next. You're very, very talented. So oh, I'll be thank you. you. But thank you so much for joining me today. And uh, oh, thank you so much, Naomi. I really appreciate you having me on. Thank you. No problem. Have a great day. Bye. You too.